and get in the car. <laughs> Relax. You don't want to harm the one man who can save the dynasty. There's some jokes in there for the big kids. I gotta say, when they were all singing in the car, that little tag, I was like, they're gonna do Rasputin, right? <laughs> nope. I was trying to think what it was reminding me of visually, and it just came to me a moment ago. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. When, when I saw Henson, I expected <laughs> them to be more Muppety, and instead it's more like Nightmare Before Christmas in appearance. Um, the tone of it is rather like drunk history. We're, we're throwing a lot of, uh, there's a lot of anachronisms in there, and, and we don't care because it, it, it works as a comedy. And, and yes, I love those newspaper headlines, the, the old time um, silent movie title cards used between scenes, that was very effective. And uh, yeah, so it works on that level, but it, it just wasn't what I expected. I think it defied a lot of expectations. Yeah in a lot of ways. I personally enjoyed it, I found it incredibly refreshing, myself. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Every element of it, even the serious ones that were uh, more, uh, maybe gruesome or violent, were done with humor. Uh, I thought the characterization was really well done. I mean, given that they were puppets and they were voice acted, you could tell that each one had their own personality, and uh, the characters worked really well together. They were, they were great sound effects and music, so overall it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed the music composition. I, I thought that their their use of slightly more adult current humor worked really well. Like that part where it's like, we should just go for a walk, we'll open the door, we'll, open the we'll just make popcorn <coughs> indoors. I, I loved it. I thought it was very sharp, really nice way to put history that I'm like kind of disconnected to right into my palatable frame of reference. Rasputin, they really gave, they made him out to be kind of a kook, right? A little bit of a quack. But they didn't lie either. He was notoriously hard to kill. <laughs> like seriously, they found him and he had like 18 bullet wounds and some stab wounds and a bunch of broken bones and they said he died of hypothermia. So They did not lie about how difficult it was. Anybody catch the tags at the end with the, with the anatomy in a jar? Yeah? Don't Google image that. I like the puppets and the colors and on their faces like blue lips or purple lips or whatever. I like the way they did that, and I think they got the story right on, and it was um, very easy to follow, I thought. I have heard of your great gifts. Well, don't believe everything you hear. You gotta give props to the style that they chose. There was a lot of detail and a lot of work put into that artistic choice to do puppets.